5 Tips with VTOLs Number 1. Center of Mass With vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, it's extremely imperative that the center of mass be lined up with the center of thrust. If your VTOL has multiple engines, alternate limiting thrust between the rear and bottom engines. Here I'm using a radial attachment point. Carefully line up your engines with the center of mass, including downward and rear facing engines. I recommend designing your first VTOLs without wings, and with only a single downward facing engine. This eliminates variables and makes them easier to construct and control. Be sure to take note of how your center of mass moves at different levels of fuel. Number 2. Control Point To make vertical takeoffs and landings easier, I tend to attach a docking port over the center of mass. So I have a stack of my center of thrust, the center of mass, and a docking port, all lined up as close as possible. In-game right-clicking the docking port and controlling from there will give you a point of reference much similar to a lander that you may be used to. While you can perform vertical takeoffs and landings controlling from your cockpit, Controlling from a docking port above the center of mass and thrust makes things quite a bit easier. Point to the opposite side of the retro indicator and herd it to the top of the nav ball to control your descent. If you have rear facing engines, once you switch to them, change to your cockpit for control. Number 3. Centralized Lift When designing a VTOL with wings, it's in your best interest to keep the center of lift as close to the center of mass as possible. Keep in mind that the lifting force is going to try to pull your aircraft in the direction of the blue arrow. If your center of lift is displaced too far from your center of mass and thrust, vertical takeoffs and landings may be increasingly challenging. Number 4. Smooth Throttle With VTOLs, practice is key, especially with vertical landings. Get a good feel for how quickly your aircraft can build up thrust and do plenty of flight tests as no two VTOLs fly the same. Using jet engines is more fuel efficient and adds less weight, however the time it takes them to spool up and down can take some getting used to and make vertical takeoffs and landings more challenging. Fly upward towards your prograde and downward towards your retrograde. Remember that they're on opposite sides of the nav ball. This can give you insight into which way to turn. Number 5. Maintaining Control Aerodynamic control surfaces, RCS thrusters, and high-power liquid fuel thrusters are all good options for maintaining control. However, the best solution is having plenty of torque. This can help compensate as your center of mass and center of thrust become unaligned, and also helps to negate the pull of lift on vertical landings. Remember to set action groups for your different engines. This can make controlling your VTOL much easier, not having to fiddle with right-clicking parts mid-flight. Centralized lift, plenty of torque, and a control point for vertical takeoffs and landings can make the difficult task of operating VTOLs much easier. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for 5 Ways to Train for Moon Missions.